In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Losartan, especially what it does to the body and about specific side effects. This is especially important if you are about to start Losartan or you're already established on it. I'm also going to answer some frequently asked questions in my clinics. Can Losartan cause cancer? And will it affect my kidneys if I take it long term? These are really important questions that you should be fully informed about when making a decision about taking any medication. This video will help you to understand more about Losartan and allow you to make a logical decision about taking it. So let's get started. What is Losartan? Losartan is a medicine called an angiotensin receptor blocker or ARB for short. It's widely used to treat high blood pressure and heart failure. It's also used to protect your kidneys if you have both kidney disease and diabetes. Losartan can also help to prevent strokes and heart attacks and is used to improve your survival if you're taking it for heart failure or after a heart attack. Like other ARBs, Losartan relaxes and widens your blood vessels. This lowers your blood pressure and makes it easier for your heart to pump blood around your body. In diabetic kidney disease, it helps to protect your kidneys and slows down the disease. It does this by reducing the amount of protein you lose through your kidneys and by reducing high blood pressure. So who can take Losartan? Most adults aged 18 years and over can take Losartan. You may be prescribed Losartan if you've tried taking similar blood pressure lowering medicines such as lisinopril but had to stop because of side effects such as a dry, irritating cough. Losartan is not suitable for some people. To make sure it's safe for you, tell your healthcare provider if you have ever had an allergic reaction to Losartan or any other medicine, have diabetes, have heart, liver or kidney problems, recently had kidney transplant, have had diarrhea or vomiting while taking Losartan, have been on a low salt diet, have low blood pressure, or are trying to get pregnant, are already pregnant, or you are breastfeeding. So what's the correct dose? Your dose of Losartan depends on why you need the medicine. Losartan comes as 12.5 milligrams, 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams, and 100 milligram tablets. The usual dose for adults is 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams taken once a day to treat high blood pressure or protect your kidneys. 12.5 milligrams to 150 milligrams taken once a day for heart failure. And 25 milligrams taken once a day by over 75 year olds to protect their kidneys. So how do you take it? Take Losartan tablets once a day. Your doctor may suggest that you take your first dose before bedtime because it can make you feel dizzy. After your first dose, you can take Losartan at any time of the day, but try to take it at the same time every day. You can take Losartan tablets with or without food. Swallow the tablet whole with a drink of water. So how long does it take to work? Losartan starts to reduce high blood pressure after one hour, but it may take three to six weeks to fully take effect. So can I drink alcohol? Drinking alcohol can increase the blood pressure lowering effect of Losartan, which can make you feel dizzy or lightheaded. During the first few days of taking Losartan or after a dose increase, it's best to stop drinking alcohol until you see how the medicine affects you. If you find Losartan makes you feel dizzy, it's best to stop drinking alcohol. Is there any food or drink you need to avoid? Do not use salt substitutes such as low salt. This is because they are high in potassium. When mixed with low sartan, they can make the level of your potassium in your blood go too high. Do not drink grapefruit juice if you're taking low sartan. It may affect the levels of low sartan in your blood and this may change how well it works and whether you have side effects. What else can you do to help the health of your heart? I talk about this in another video which I will leave a link for down below. This video explains how you can help lower your blood pressure naturally 
by making different key lifestyle changes. What do you do if you get sick while taking it? If you have severe diarrhea or are being sick, for any reason, contact your healthcare provider. They may recommend that you stop taking Losartan until you're feeling better and you can eat and drink normally again. So what are the common side effects? Feeling dizzy, headaches, feeling sick, being sick, diarrhea, pain in your joints or muscles. So what are the serious side effects? Call a doctor or emergency services if the whites of your eyes turn yellow or your skin turns yellow. This can be a sign of liver problems. If you get severe stomach pain, this can be a sign of an inflamed pancreas. If your skin becomes more pale than usual, you feel tired, faint or dizzy, get purple spots, show any sign of bleeding or have a sore throat and high temperature, these can be signs of a blood or bone marrow disorder. You feel weak, have an irregular heartbeat, pins and needles and muscle cramps. These can be signs of changes in the potassium levels in your blood. And in rare cases, it's possible to have a serious allergic reaction to Losartan. Now, these are not all the side effects of Losartan. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicine packet. Now, what are the cautions with other medicines? Now, some medicines can affect the way Losartan works. Tell your healthcare provider if you're taking other medicines to help lower your blood pressure, including aliskirin, enalapril, captopril, lisinopril, or ramipril, painkillers such as ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac, salicoxib, or eterococcib, aspirin more than three grams a day, heparin, tablets to make you pee more, lithium, or spironolactone. One of the questions I get asked in my clinic is about the link of using ARBs such as losartan and cancer. There are studies that have shown a correlation and one particular study published by the British Medical Journal that reviewed around 1 million patients over 21 years uncovered an increased risk of lung cancer. Another study into the use of ARBs and the link with cancer the authors concluded that the risk of cancer, specifically lung cancer, increased the longer you took ARBs. This became significant, especially after two and a half years of using it. The other cancer risks reported were in 2019, when the FDA, the US Medicines Watchdog, and the MHRA, the UK Medicines Watchdog, issued a warning that some batches of Losartan were contaminated with a potential carcinogen called NDEA. Exposure to this substance over long periods of time can also increase the risk of certain types of cancer. The second question that I get asked is related to the long-term side effects of taking Losartan. It has been reported that taking Losartan for a long time can cause your kidneys not to work as well as they should. While Losartan is often prescribed to protect the kidneys in patients with diabetes, it can actually cause kidney damage in some cases, especially in patients with pre-existing kidney problems. You should always make sure that your healthcare provider checks how well your kidneys are working with regular blood tests at least once a year as a minimum. I will provide the links to the studies below. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted every week and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified about new videos and make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn more about. You can also check out my other videos on lisinopril or another one called how to lower your blood pressure naturally.